everyone, this is Andre Sola at UrbanTV.com and we are at the Use Your Mind and Not Your Body Teen Pregnancy Prevention Conference here at the Signature Grand. This event is hosted by the OIC of South Florida and the theme is Decisions Are Forever. Okay, I'm standing here with a gentleman. I'm going to allow him to introduce himself. What's your name, sir? Yeah, Ralph D. Clemente. Now, Mr. Clemente, your reason for being here at this teen prevention conference is? Well, there are two. Okay. One, I was invited as a speaker to talk about the issue of um, media exposure and adolescent sexuality. And the second is because it's a great organization and I want to help advocate for it. Now, he said, say that again, adolescent sexuality. Yes, adolescent sexuality. It's, uh, it's one of those terms that's pervasive, but seldom talked about. And I think it's time we start talking about it a whole lot more. Dr. Four, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Now tell us your involvement with OIC, this conference, the Team Pregnancy Prevention Conference, what is your role and how are you playing it right now? Well, I'm an international human development consultant and I'm a consultant with OIC. So I work with them on their programs, program effectiveness, using best practice research, and just really ensuring that they achieve the outcomes that they end to, intend to with their programs. Because bottom line, the first teacher, the most important teacher, and the person or persons who really set the framework for a child is the parent. This is just a powerful conference that OIC is putting together and the, the message that they are really trying to, to give, you know, the young people attending. And then the tools, not only for the young people, but for parents. How do you parent a, a child in a 21st century, globalized, technologically driven world? And then how do you help young people when they're hearing all the media messages and peer pressures? How do you really learn to march to your own drum and become your own person? So this is the Use Your Mind, Not Your Body Teen Pregnancy Prevention Conference. You have a daughter. How old is your daughter? My daughter is 14. Yeah, so now is the time where you start getting that communication going and... Actually, what I try to do is we try to go further, like from the time they start walking, start instilling certain things. So what I do is try to make mothers realize, hey, this is our girls. Anything that they need to know, we are the ones that have to tell them, you know, because we have all the answers. So that's what I try to do. This is Andre Sola, iUrbanTV.com, and I am standing here with Paula White, one of our keynote speakers, and she did an excellent job, very excellent. So tell us, um, what do you have coming up, website, how do we find what you do? Uh, go to PaulaWhite.org. Make sure you follow me on Facebook and Twitter. It's one of my greatest things I love every day. I am just tweeting people. I'm posting what I believe are not just inspirational, which is in spirit, you know, but I believe that it's what God's given me to give other people. Real love respects you. Real love values you. 
We will love treasures you. Okay, you heard it right here. We are at the Use Your Mind, Not Your Body Teen Pregnancy Prevention Conference here at the Signature Gardens with the OIC of South Florida. I've just finished speaking to Paula White. She's going to circulate. She's going to shake some hands. She's going to take some pictures. And she's going to speak to the teens that are here. We'll be right back with more people. speakers I know who she is but you need to know who she is I'm gonna allow her to introduce herself and tell you what it is that she does okay well my name is coach Kaz or my government name is Cassandra Roach and I am the founder and CEO of InspireMany.com, a movement to really help people create the life that they deserve tell me how do you use your mind and not your body think cool. think before you do something very simple. So if anybody asks you any questions, you say, wait a second, I have to stop and think about it first before I give an answer. You might even sleep on it. I get back to you tomorrow. Sounds good? Now, what do you think about this conference that you're, do you, what do you think about the significance of speaking to teens about teen pregnancy? Okay, so the biggest thing that I know is that if you get pregnant right now as a teen, that's going to mess up your plan. But instead, spending the time to focus on you and what your goals are can really set you up for true success. Good morning! You guys have done a marvelous job today. What you're doing with the kids, this whole teen prevention, pregnancy prevention conference was outstanding. I have to commend you and thank you for doing it. What are some of the things that you derive from this? First of all, how was this process for you? Let's talk about that. How was this process for you? Wow, this came from a vision, a dream, many years in the making. We've been committed to this. We are committed to our youth, committed to our community, and really want to help young people realize their purpose. And that drives everything that we do in our organization. So this is just an outward uh, opportunity for the community to see what we labor and do each and every day in Broward schools, throughout the community, and in our office. There are so many people, so many tools that you are using. You know how to use a cell phone. You know how to use it. So right now what your concentration needs to be, instead of just knowing how to use it, know how to make something with it. Now as the president or as the, the, the main director, right, what would you say this conference did for you and how do you feel about putting this conference on for the youth? We feel ecstatic about the opportunity of putting on this conference for youth. Uh, so often we labor in the office administratively to make sure and hope that these things come together right. But to see it actually taken to full fruition, to see the kids excited to learn something, the stakeholders all come together, the parents all collectively, 
we're really ecstatic about the fact that we get a chance to see our vision in full motion. So we're very happy about that. What's the benefit of studying? What good is good grades? Self-esteem. He said for the goal of just learning. And she said to boost my self-esteem. And she said, so I'm not stupid. You had some very good speakers come in to talk to the youth. How did you come about finding these speakers? These speakers came about from one, a vision of making sure we had a wide range of individuals who can pour into our young people's lives, individuals who had a passion and commitment to working with youth and helping them to aspire. We made sure we brought people to talk about not just pregnancy prevention, but right. part of the prevention message is that your life and your dreams and your purpose, that there's a whole process to that. So it was a whole host of things. We felt we wanted to make sure it's a holistic experience. Right, right. We didn't want to leave any stone unturned. Right. That when our young people begin to think about their decisions, they recognize that there's so many things that come into play in the decisions that they make. And it's not just how they feel, but that there are consequences to every action. What would you want to tell someone about how they could support the OIC and all its endeavors? There are several ways to support OIC. Whether it's funders, they can go on OIC in South Florida, Org. There's opportunities to contribute there. We're always looking for mentors to contribute to our efforts with our young people and our adults. And by all, all means, we look for people that are educators to contribute to the efforts when it comes to educating kids on our teenage pregnancy prevention programs, our adult reentry initiatives, our broad and general ec career and academic achievements that we try to work on with young people. All those are multiple ways people can contribute and get a part of our OIC. spectacular event. I can't give it enough applaud. I mean, it was class. Everyone was fed. Everyone was given good information. The speakers were impeccable. We were here at the Signature Grand. I can't say anything. Oh, I see. You have outdone yourselves for the Use Your Mind, Not Your Body Teen Pregnancy Prevention conference. That's all I have to say. You guys did an excellent job. We saw so many people. We had a great time. So now people, it's up to you to follow the movement, find out the information, find out what they're doing, and make sure that you support and spread the word. This is Andre Sola, IrishmanTV.com, and we are signing out. Take care and see you soon.